Good morning, everyone. We hope you're having a great day. Good morning. Coda and Carson are at school. We are just hanging out. I'm folding some laundry, and then we are gonna go have some lunch with Carson. Do you want to? Yeah? Okay, I love you. Yeah! Okay. Is anybody else completely freaking out that it's December 13th? <laughs> Am I the only adult that starts acting like this overly excited, giddy child? <laughs> I get so excited it isn't even funny. Like, I honestly think I might scare some people because I am just so excited. I tell Cody, it's like my body can't contain my excitement. I'm just so excited that it literally boils out of me and it's hitting me guys. It's hitting me hard and I cannot Wait, we are so close. 12 days. Katie, we're 12 days from Christmas. We still have so much fun stuff that we're gonna be doing before Christmas, but I just got super excited when I looked at my phone and realized the date and I just can't wait. So I had to say that. It's almost Christmas. I see babe. How is school? Good. Good? And look what we just got. They want him to bring a treat on Monday because they'll be celebrating his birthday. Yeah. Yeah, how old are you gonna be, Cars? Five. Five? Four, are you kidding me? Four, You're like a teenager. <laughs> no. Four, what do you want for lunch? Four, hot, dog. hot dog. No four, way. Four, <laughs> okay. There goes cute Carsey. <laughs> Isn't he so cute, Tiny? Yeah. He's the cutest. Okay, so some of you might know Carson does attend three preschools. I didn't plan for it to be that way. I get asked all the time, why in the heck does he go to three preschools? Quick rundown. He was enrolled in the preschool he went to last year, which we love so much, since last year. So he was already enrolled in one preschool, way ahead of time. And then one of our really good friends, she missed the signups for preschools for her little boy. So she decided just to do her own. And that's where he goes two days a week. It's kind of like a joy school. They kind of just hang out. There's only six of them. They hang out, make crafts, and she is so cute and fun with them. So of course I said, yes, he would love to do that with you. So he does that. And then we did some trade for um, photography with another preschool here in town. Super great program. They do, they teach them uh, Spanish as well as English and they're preschool kids. So it's awesome. Just a cute, cute girl here in our town. They wanted some wedding photography and we decided to trade some preschool. So Carson has been killing it going to three preschools. He, seriously, he's amazing. He's such a bright, intelligent little butt. Yes, I called him a little butt. It's a t term of endearment. And he has so many awesome friends and his three teachers are unbelievable. I'm so thankful for that. It's been a little bit difficult on me. I told Cody, I said, Carson could do this all day and all night. It's me that struggles with remembering, you know, three different preschools. That's three different snack schedules and three different classes that I have to remember. Oh, he has to take a family picture to this school today and da 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 da. It's a lot. It's a lot for me to remember, but Carson loves it. He's absolutely enjoyed every single second of it. And that was my biggest thing. I said, if this is at all too much for Carson or he doesn't seem happy I will pull him from a school faster than you could even see but he's loved it he loves all three schools and I'm so grateful for that it keeps him busy it keeps him learning and I love it so so much so I just want to say Cars you are are a rock star and I love you did you spill your drink all over you look how wet you are Come on in, stinker. I'm tired. Car seats. Easily the hardest thing to keep clean. Am I right? 
It's awful. Canyon just spilled his orange soda all over his car seat, but it gave me a good excuse. Get it all clean and then scrub the rest of it because car seats are gross. <laughs> Especially if you give your kids things to keep them happy, like milk or a little cup of orange soda. <sighs> but it feels good when they're clean. To move it, move it. Move. Okay, dance for us. <laughs> Don't worry, that's all clean laundry. Okay. Oh, really? Did we have to change your clothes because you spilled your drink? Yeah. Oh man. Okay, let's go. We are on our way to get cars from school. This cool dude is home. Hey, bro. Hi. Say hi to everyone. Hi. What's happening, dude? Do you have a Nerf bullet in your hat? Turn. Yeah. Let me see you. Turn your head. Oh man. <laughs> Six year old boys, guys. No, I seriously love it so much. Woo! It's cold! Let's go, go, go! Oh, I love it. Oh yeah. We picked this cute boy up from school, huh? Did you have a good day? You guys. Us watching TV. Um, we were gonna try to do something super fun and festive tonight, but then I saw that we have like a 30% chance of snow tonight. It is super cloudy and foggy and it might snow and just that little possibility has me so much happier. And I was talking to Cody and I said, just bring some pizzas home. Let's just stay in tonight. Just the six of us, cuddle, watch a Christmas movie, eat some pizza and spend some time together. So that's what we're doing tonight and I could not be more excited about it. These guys are crazy. Oh, you wanna open your little passports? Oh, good. This one is from South Africa. Okay, let's open it. Hi, handsome. Who do you think's texting me? Oh my goodness, hang on, Coda, I don't look at it yet. Me and my mom and sisters have an ongoing conversation every day. That's what's going down right now. <laughs> Shelby, Maddie, and my mom. Lots of text messages. Get in Carson. Get closer, Carson. <gasps> what is it? Oh, look at it. It's a whistle. Oh, it's one of those bird whistles that you put some water in. And then it blows out bubbles. Look at that South Africa flag. Whoa. That's cool. Look, let's see. I think, ooh, it's a bird whistle, buddy. You put, you put bubbles inside and it blows Let's bubbles. see what else. Different South Africa trivia and games. You get a note all about South Africa. Your boarding pass. What's Super a boarding cute. pass? That's what you use wow. to get on an airplane. Oh, so we can go on um, The South African oh. postcard. Look at those elephants, Cokes. A little sticker. The giraffe. That's so fun, but you need to go get your map so we can put the pin and flag on there and your passport. Okay, here's your little passport. Let's put South Africa's flag in there. Boom. And then look how cute. You hang your little boarding pass on your suitcase handle. So he's got South Africa, Mexico, Brazil, Egypt. He's got a bunch, it's so fun. And then all these little souvenirs. He said this one is his favorite. That was his souvenir from Brazil. It's just such fun stuff, guys. And it's such a cool way to like try and culture your children, especially when you live in tiny small town in Utah. <laughs> I don't know, I just love it. I love that they get to see different parts of the world, get to hold something tangible in their hand from that place. And then we get little pamphlets and activities so they get to learn more about each country. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Let's put your pin on South Africa. Good job, baby. So fun. So I got and he's been putting the stickers on his suitcase. You gotta add your other ones on there, huh? He had seen little passports a few times just in commercials on TV and for months he's, mom, I have to do this little passports thing. And I had no idea what it was, but when I looked it up, I love the idea and he loves it. Now let's show us how the birds in South Africa sound. Is that awesome? Do you love it? 
You got some rocking hair right now, baby. <laughs> I love you. So cool. And now, birds sing. <laughs> it needs a lot of water. Yeah. And our house is so cozy right now. <laughs> now all we need is Cody. <gasps> Pizza! I just said now all we need is Cody. And you opened the door. <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> Welcome home. Pizza. Okay, that was hilarious. He actually was just home for two seconds to drop off the pizzas and then had to run back to work for just a few minutes. But he got the goods. We have a cheese pizza for the boys. Bacon ranch, chicken artichoke, and a cinnamon wheel. Oh yeah. It's a cinnamon wheel. Oh yeah, it's like a cinnamon roll, but pizza style. Look, see the frosting? Mm, I'm eating that one and that one. <laughs> I love you guys. R-A-N-C-H. Ranch. 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 R-E-N-C-H. R-A. Yeah. Now he's home for for good. He's officially okay. home now. <laughs> That's so much Forever. Better. Forever and ever. It is snowing, guys. And we just put those things on our windshield that were sent to us by a subscriber. So thank you. Yeah. You guys did it. You got the storm here. You did. All the comments today said, I'll send you snow from Michigan or wherever you live. You did it. You really sent it here. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, Tyvee. <laughs> Is it snowing? And did we get pizza? And the subscribers <laughs> gave us snow. The subscribers gave us snow. This babe is practicing because she's got a wedding to shoot this Saturday. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> See me. <laughs> hey, you. What are you doing? Oh, Making buddy. carpet angels? <laughs> hey, guess what? Uh, they took a picture of me doing this. this. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> you all lost your shirts and you're in your wrestling outfit, huh? Yeah. Singlet. Singlet. Goofball. And Kimmy ate pizza crust, so she has pizza sauce on her. <laughs> She's loving. Oh, tired girlfriend. I can. Oh, I can't see What are you doing, Coda? I'm going to the future. Me too. Okay, go to the future. Carson almost. Carson, I was almost going to see my friend in the future, but Carson stopped me. I saw the future. You spin really fast, you go to the future. Yeah, I saw He just said, Carson, you stopped me from going to the future. I was almost there. <laughs> but I was. I saw the future. What did it do? It shot bubbles out of it. The, the, yeah, the spot. It shot bubbles out of the spot. What does that even mean? Okay, so one of 
our favorite traditions to do with the boys at Christmas time is to watch the show called Family Time with Santa. It has a cute calendar and you click on whatever date it is and it's the last 12 nights leading up to Christmas. And Santa, he shares with you his hobbies, he shows you the North Pole, he shows what him and Mrs. Claus do, do together. It's just really fun and these guys love it, huh? Mm -hmm. They seriously look forward to it, don't you guys? <laughs> My favorite one is the North Pole. Hang on, Tiny. The North, the North Pole, Pole one? Yeah. What did he do tonight? Um, he skied. He went skiing, huh? Uh-huh, and, and he, he went, like, did seashells. And um, then he went snowballing, and, and he went no. um, um, rollerblading. Yeah. <laughs> Santa's an active guy, huh? So this is what it looks like, but it's just fun. We just click on the calendar and go to whatever day it is, and Santa sings a cute song. And tonight he told us there's only 11 more nights till Christmas, which is Woo! crazy. I cannot believe that, but 11. me... Me and my siblings used to watch this, and now our kids watch it, so it's super fun, and it's autographed by the real Santa. It's pretty dang cool. So now we are just getting ready to open our Christmas book. It's Canyon's turn. Go, Tony. Santa got this up. monster. What is it? Oh. Christmas, Mom and Dad. We have just been having a nice, fun, chill night as a family, just enjoying each other's company, watching our Christmas shows, and now we're just going to read our Christmas book. So, thank you so much for watching, and subscribe if you're not, and we'll see you next time. We'll see ya. Bye! Bye! Love you guys! Bye. I love you guys! <laughs> Awesome. It's um dog and Miss Wright. Okay, night. Bye. 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 <laughs> Ouch. <laughs>